Here's a pretty good example of why you should uh, take care of your root suckers. Um, these are five or six year old dandy red apples. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they were on M9 rootstock. And I don't know if you can see it, but I'll zoom in a little bit. There's some pretty good root suckers here. And these things have really uh, gotten some pretty mean looking fire blight in the root suckers. That's not in the tree, that is the root sucker, the tip of the root sucker. And if that goes down into the roots, some more blight there you can see. If that goes down into the root system, that tree and that rootstock gets infected with fire blight, then that's the, uh, the end of that tree. So good reason to burn back your root suckers or uh, keep them under control so you don't end up with a situation where you get fire blight in the rootstock. Uh, I don't know, there may have been some fire blight cut out of these dandy reds. Um, I can see there was some blossom blight that's still up in the tree, but uh, I don't see any uh, strikes up in the tree, but there probably was some that may have been cut out. Okay, so keep those root suckers under control. It's a fire blight risk. Hi, right, John Clements here for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Today is Thursday, July 3rd. 2014. I'm at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard in Belchertown looking at a variety block. This happens to be Cherry Gala which had some pretty good fire blight in it. As you can see this has been a uh, pretty bad year for fire blight all around. Probably the worst outbreak I've seen uh, region-wide in Massachusetts at least since I've been here in 2000. So um, this gala of course is very sensitive to fire blight. What I find interesting though and uh, we'll see if we can see it here is uh, in reality, this shoot right over here that's blighted is a root sucker that has come up from the base of the tree and has got fire blight. So this is a good reason to keep your root suckers under control so they don't get fire blight. But you can see there's some pretty nasty fire blight in the tree too. Um, double trouble, I think. If we get uh, fire blight down the rootstock, that's probably the end of this tree. And there's a pretty good shot. Uh, the lighting is not so great in here, but those that is blight on a root sucker right there, the tip of a root sucker. So keep those root suckers under control. That's my story for today. John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor looking at fire blight. Hi, this is John Clements for the UMass Fruit, Fruit Advisor. Today is July 3rd, 2014. Um, I'm out at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard. Thunderstorm just passed through, but I've been meaning to get out and shoot uh, some of this fire blight that's on root suckers, M9 rootstock, on these dandy red trees that are five or six years old. And uh, these root suckers have been, uh, this is a variety evaluation block, doesn't get the best care in the world, have been left to kind of get out of control here. You can see them at the base, but at the tip of some of this M9 rootstock, you can see some fire blight um, has infected the uh, the tip there, and if that goes all the way down into the root system, fire blight is systemic, that could certainly uh, be the beginning of the end for these trees if fire blight gets in the rootstock. So you can see we had, um, there may have been some blight uh, pruned out of these, but here's a, uh, a blossom blight that came in during bloom. It's actually, I can't tell, that may be oozing. There may be some pretty active fire blight there right now on that little fruitlet. Um, there may have already been some strikes cut out of these trees. But um, like I said, now that the, um, it's on the root suckers, kind of hard to see here, but uh, let's see if we can get it in there. You can see some brown on those root suckers. That's fire blight. It's not a good, good thing. So uh, fire blight has been more widespread in Massachusetts this year. Um, there's quite a few different varieties in this block that have got it. Yeah, you can see where probably um, a good fire blight strike was cut out of this vigorous upright shoot right there and uh, it's re-sprouting, but uh, hopefully uh, these uh, dandy red will survive. So that's my story. A lot of widespread fire blight in Massachusetts. Just do a quick one there for you to show you that. We'll talk to you later.